Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I kind of wanted to do a full face first impressions video because I know this can be really helpful to some people when new products or even kind of old products come out and you're debating on buying it or not. Um, with me personally, when I find a product and I love it, like there is no changing it. I always go back to that product and it's so hard for me to find new products because I'm just so obsessed with one product. So this is kind of good for me to try out new products and see if I like new products because like I said, it's really hard for me to try new products when I like something else. So yeah, I guess we'll just get started into the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna try is this Smashbox Photo Finish Iconic Primer Stick. And I'm just gonna apply this. It's really different than I thought it was gonna look like. It looks more like a gel consistency. I don't know what I expected it to look like, honestly, but this is not it. And for primers, I don't know. It's kind of hard for me to decide whether I like a primer or not. Sometimes I just like them if they're more moisturizing and kind of have a tacky feel to them because I feel like the makeup's gonna stick more, but like, I don't know if it actually does. So, okay. It's very smooth. It's kind of just like any blur stick that I've tried. The so. second thing I'm gonna be trying are these Sunday Riley The Influencer Clean Long Wear Foundation. And these have been getting kind of a lot of hype lately and I wanted to try it because I kind of heard they were like nice light coverage, like dewy, and that's what I really like in foundations because if you guys watch my channel, you know I don't use that much foundation and I'd like them to be more of a light or medium coverage because I like to pile on the concealer. I just think it looks more natural natural in a way because you're not covering your whole face with a high coverage foundation. So I bought two shades because usually I'm a lot more tan than this and I was literally right between shades. So I'm going to be using the shade 230. I always feel like when I use a beauty blender, I really have to apply a lot more. What is that? I really have to apply a lot more than I would have. Okay, already I really like the finish of this. It's light, it has some coverage, but not too much, and it's kind of dewy. Little preview of the look. So the next thing I'm going to be trying out is the Beyond Perfect Super Concealer. This is by Clinique, and it's the Camouflage 24-Hour Wear. I'm just going to squish them out. Oh, a lot comes out. I don't know what I should do. Holy crap, that was a lot. Okay. Okay, it's super, super liquidy. It seems like it's gonna be really light coverage. It's really light coverage. I don't know if you could see, but I have this small pimple right here and it didn't really cover that up. Okay, so this concealer definitely did cover, but it is definitely light coverage and I usually do like my concealers to be a little bit heavier because I like a little bit more coverage. So I'm just gonna be adding a tiny bit more and I'm gonna see if this is buildable or not. So the next thing I'm going to be trying is this Bye Bye Pores Powder. It's a pressed powder from It Cosmetics. So it kind of looks like this. It has a sponge down here, product up here, and then a mirror. I don't want to bake a lot, so I'm going to just take a bit on my finger and pat it under my eyes, and then lightly brush the rest over my face. When I went to Edmonton with It Cosmetics, they showed us a, soup, like, a technique with their brushes that they recommend using, so I think I'll just try that as well. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking a bit on my finger. Is it coming off? One thing I do like about this powder though, it's very silky feeling. I think there's like real silk in it or something is what they said, okay? And then I'm just gonna take a brush and kind of brush that away a bit. That I'm gonna use their brush. This is the uh, Wand Ball Powder Heavenly Luxe by It Cosmetics. And I'm just going to be gently rolling this product onto my face. Overall, powder, not my favorite, but if you guys just want an easy powder, go for it. Okay, so next I wanted to do a bronzer blush highlight trio. And um, there's this new one from MAC Cosmetics. It's the Jeremy Scott collection. I absolutely love their packaging. I think this is so cool. 
It's called Cheeky Volume 1 Mixtape. You open it up and it looks like this. It has blush, bronzer, and highlight. I'm a little bit scared to try the blush, honestly, because um, it looks extremely pink. And I don't know if that's going to really look good on me, but because I usually go for more corally kind of tones. I'm excited to try the bronzer and highlight out and kind of see how it goes. I'm also going to be using the same It Cosmetics brush. I really like this brush for like bronzer and stuff. Um, so I'm going to go in with the bronzer. The only thing I don't like about these kind of palettes is like, I feel like I almost have to like pinch my brush to get it in there or else I get all these other colors on there that should not be. And then on the back, there's also like a mirror. So that's awesome. I really like this bronzer shade because it's more warm tone, um, which I could obviously see by the pan, but it looks a little touch more cool tone than the bronzer I'm used to using. But it looks very natural, and you guys know I love warm tone bronzers to so like bronze and contour because I just think it looks more like sun kissed. Okay, so now I'm gonna be using the blush. I don't know how that's gonna work out. I'm just trying to find my blush brush. There's already a lot of leftover blush on this. I'll try to like tap that off. Holy shit, I accidentally just put a lot on. Okay, hold up, people. Huh, I actually really like that blush. I might have put a little bit too much on, but it's almost a little bit more peachy than I expected. Okay, now for the highlight. This highlight looks, it's kind of champagne-y, but it almost looks like a whiter champagne. So I'll see how that goes. So this highlight is super, super pigmented. It has more of a whiter sheen than I'm used to. And I think for my skin tone, it's a little bit different right now. If I was more tan, I don't know how much I would like it, but it's super pigmented. And I feel like this, it would be such a beautiful color for lighter skin tones as well. But other than that, like the color payoff was great. And I don't really have anything bad to say about it. Just like for me, I'd probably like more of a champagne. Okay, so next, I know you guys have probably seen me use this before, maybe. Um, this is the Cap on D Lock It, uh, Lock It Makeup Setting Spray. And you guys have probably seen me use this on Instagram before or something, but I've never actually showed it in a video before. So I guess this isn't really my first impression of it, but I don't really have any new setting sprays that I haven't tried. Actually, actually I do. I definitely do but that will be for another first impressions video just because I have this now and honestly I'm way too lazy to walk down the stairs I am so sorry um, but yeah I'm gonna just use this to set Whew. that was a lot of setting spray for me I don't know why I love a lot of setting spray I like to literally drench my face in it and then I like to whew, air dry a little bit um, but the reason I wanted to show you guys this is because I don't think I've ever showed it on my YouTube before and I think it's by far my favorite setting spray right now because it has such a thin mist. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. The wind is blowing this way, but <laughs> it has a really thin mist. So that's what I really like about it. Um, it's not, I think it is supposed to be kind of a mattifying one that actually says, like, that doesn't say mattifying anywhere I don't know why I just said that okay to evaluate the skin a bit right now love the foundation primer I have no idea guys I don't know it's a primer to me primers are primers and I guess it was good because it didn't roll up under the skin at all because some primers when you put your foundation on it like builds up in little places and it's really weird um foundation love the foundation like very very me and then um, concealer and powder combination. I don't know if the concealer would have reacted differently with a different powder, but a little bit cakey in some areas. It builds up in some areas. Here it's building up. Not the highest coverage. The powder, mm, I just feel like I still like my Laura Mercier one a lot better. Um, other than that, Skin is great, bronzer great, highlight great, blush great. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do right now is my brows. And for my brows, 
I love like brow fibers and stuff like that. So I always use the Maybelline New York Brow Precise. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I literally just ran up the stairs and it really, really took it out of me. Okay, as I was saying. I really like the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizing. It says mascara, but it ain't the mascara, it's for the brows. And then I also like the Clear Brow Doll by Anastasia. I go back and forth between that one and the one from Benefit and also with the brow stuff. There's one from Benefit as well. Anyways, I have not tried any... Something's in my eye. Okay. Any, I haven't gotten any products that are kind of the same. So if you guys know anything that's kind of like fiber kind of stuff, let me know. Because then I'll try that out for you guys. But I do also have It Cosmetics. It's Brow Power. It's Universal Taupe. Obviously, it comes with caps and everything, but there's a spoolie on the other side, which I love when um, brow products do things like that. So since this is going to be kind of more of an everyday look, I'm only going to put in the fronts. The, the fronts? I'm only going to be putting it in the front of my eyebrows. Um, and let's see if this color is good for me. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so this product is super, super pigmented, which I love because some eyebrow products that I use, especially when they're lighter in shade, have no pigment to them. I'll literally draw them on and I'm like, where is the color? All right. I dig that. I like this. This is a good product. And the next thing I'm going to be doing, I know this isn't a first impression, but I already explained to you guys why I was using this. Like literally look at what a difference it makes. It's like, what is this? And it's like, this is a brow. This is a full voluminous eyebrow. So now I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel just because I don't really trust the other stuff to actually keep my eyebrows straight up because I like them super voluminous and like looking like they got electrocuted or something. You know what I mean? Next thing I'm going to be doing is Smashbox just sent out a PR of these eyeshadows and they are the, what are these? <laughs> they are the Photo Edit Eyeshadow Trio. I want to do an eyeshadow look that is super quick for every day and I mean like super quick like a boom 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 kind of look. If that makes sense. Um, so I'm gonna just be taking these two right here. Um, this one is Nude Pick Deep and this one is Tag Me. And I'm just gonna be taking my blender brush. You only need one brush for this, as a lot of my tutorials actually. I always use the Morphe MB23, not sponsored. I do not have a discount code for you guys. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna take this kind of orangey burnt orange looking shade and I'm gonna be putting this on out of thirds and my crease okay boom look at that crease work is done then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be taking the tag me palette I'm gonna be taking the shade here I'm gonna put this on my lid and I'm not using any of the Too Faced glitter glue. It's If I use that, it would make it 10 times better. But I really wanted to see what the pigment looked like without it. Ooh, still pretty good. Okay, just like that. And then I'm gonna be taking that more maroon looking shade. I'm just gonna be putting this in the outer thirds, not too much, cause like, even though this is like maybe more than you would wear on a day, I still do want it to look red relatively okay if I wore this out. And I'm just going to be kind of like mixing those two colors together since we put more of a pinky colored on our lid and more of an orange color in our crease. So the next thing I'm going to be trying out is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I've heard a lot of great things about this. Um, and apparently it has like some sort of conditioning in it as well in different lengths of like bristles to like catch your little short little eyelashes down there that are just growing in okay so, so i'm just quickly curling my eyelash here i like them to be pretty pretty curled because my eyelashes stick out pretty straight 
And then I'm gonna be applying this. This isn't a waterproof mascara, you know. I love waterproof mascaras because they're oil-based and they keep my eyelashes curled, but oh my god. This really brushes through your lashes and makes them look so long. Whew. Okay. This mascara looked awesome when I was first applying it. And it super brushed through my lashes and just gave them so much length. But the only thing that I'm noticing is if they're kind of falling down because you I always wear waterproof mascara because it holds my lashes up because they're pretty straight out. But other than that, if you guys always wear like normal mascara regardless, this mascara would be so perfect for you because it made them so long. I wish I didn't have eyelashes that fell down because I really just wanted to show you guys like the final product of it because they look awesome. But it's nothing that you can really see now, but I think I'll recurl them at the end just so you could guys can see kind of the length it gave me. I don't have a new lip liner to try out and I'm always just stuck to this lip liner. If anyone has like an idea of something that's kind of similar to the Max Spice lip liner, that would be awesome. But I just want to do a really quick lip and I'll show you guys how it looks. So the lipstick I'm going to be using kind of just came out in a new collection Too Faced was using. And I bought it when I was in Edmonton. I've been using it ever since. And I know this technically isn't a first impressions, but I really need to show you guys this lipstick because I absolutely love the color and I think it would just go so perfect with this look. It is the, the Benefit Be Birthday Suit Lipstick and it's from their, I think they're like natural collection they just came out with. And look how beautiful that is. Mm. I really dig this lipstick. I love my nudes. And when I found this, I was like, I gotta get that. Urban Decay just came out with these new lipsticks, which look awesome. They're high shine ones, and a lot of them are metallic. But I'm going to be using this one. And this is their high Hi-Fi Shine, and this is in Fuel. Hmm. It smells super minty. Interesting. Ooh, I love that. Okay, overall look on the end of products, I told you guys what I thought about the like foundation look and stuff. And I thoughts are still the same even after like wearing it for the short minutes I was wearing it for. Mascara, I think is such an amazing mascara and for people that wear like normal like non-waterproof mascaras all the time it's such a great option for you. I really wish I could show you guys what it actually looked like but my eyelashes are just it is just something else for them to hold mascara. Like, I don't know what is wrong with them. Um, eyeshadow loved. I think the eyeshadow on top could have been, like, a little bit more pigmented if I used the Too Faced, uh, Too Faced glitter glue adhesive thing, which I always use in, like, all my videos. But I really wanted to see how the colors kind of paid off otherwise. Um, and I think it's such a great idea with all the little trios and stuff. Lips, obviously love the combination. My go-to nude now. But yeah, that's my full face first impression. I hope you guys like this video. If you want to see more of these, please leave me a comment. And also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in my next video.